Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mekon is the killer. <sighs> hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. Yeah, back off. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! There's no way! I am capable of killing someone! Is that really true? That's enough! I can't stop! What? I don't want to do this either! Of course I don't want to do this! But I need to do this! Y you doubt your friends? That's not it! I suspect them because I want to believe them! But what the hell does that mean? Um... I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Cause... If there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I... don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Belief and doubt? Is that the case? Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Whoa. Hey! Mika! It's not fair. It's not fair. 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 Not fair! Why won't you forgive me? You forgive yourself right away! What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still... The truth is, one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Hey, Mikan. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watch? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. Can you prove it? Prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Ah! That's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room! Treating me like a killer based on an assumption! I was at the hospital! 
<laughs> You're totally crazy! Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. Oh my god. <laughs> I got the killer! I never filmed <laughs> that video! Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find a hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So, I'm going to leave this to you once again. You get to decide I'm the killer! Where's your proof? Please! We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Damn it! I'm not the killer! 
We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video. Hey, do you have any proof? Is a hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Hey, do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you, who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction! It's barely 
me. Nikai, you've committed a major mistake. <laughs> mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? Nikon with the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah! <laughs> Forgive me! What? <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's not it? I mean... It's impossible. Impossible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hachimi saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. Hey, tote bag. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Okay, it was this third man. Good? Can you 
forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? I can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction! Mika, you've committed a m mistake Forgive me! Forgive me! Please draw me! 
Can you forgive me already? You still haven't forgiven me? Forgive me! Forgive me! Please, draw on me! You're done for! Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want! Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want! Shall I let you punch me? in two places at the same time! This is the end! Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses! Seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Miko, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. happened in this case the key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw that's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime when I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning I noticed a specific thing in the lobby 
the incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music unit. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music unit, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music unit camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by them. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music room and found the hanged body wearing a bag on it. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music video from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music video and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Kyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but... Inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikai? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Oh, son of a bitch. That can't be true. <laughs> Whoa! Now she's laughing? Ah, it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! M Mikon, you... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! What? It 
seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! It's a 
understand. Hey. Hey, hey! prepared a very special punishment! So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Let me ask. Thank you. 
so just as I thought. Hmm. However... Looking for me? Could it be? With high hopes in our hearts, we turned towards the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting! Hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face, since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you... noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! What the fuck? <laughs>
hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right, a common ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like for example, the enemy slayer crumbling right after you defeat the final boss, or your dead friend suddenly repeat It would have been fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not this unreachable <laughs> thing. The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! N Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me! No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all! Yeesh. <laughs> I already know. <laughs>
again the world shook and the turn stopped white as if the surrounding environment and all sound was blown away by the impact turning everyone everything completely white and when well, then that witness I heard that voice uh, again. Uh, uh, Nekomaru! <laughs> that didn't face me at all! Check it out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all! Hey, hey! <laughs> Ultimate Robot's Dream of Clockwork? <laughs> <laughs> 